Howdy y'all, Fuzzy Biker here at Baxter Cycle in the mighty Minitropolis of Marnia, Iowa and check out what they got laid out for us today. Isn't this a treat? This is a black Royal Enfield Super Meteor 650. Check that hot rod out. Something to know right away about the black is it's kind of a charcoal black and I'm hoping that kind of shows on the camera. It's not a black black, but rather a charcoal. Looks like it has speckles of blue or maybe even purple in there. Very pretty. Also, the frame is uh, powder coated. Interesting. Uh, I just showed up here a few minutes ago and uh, I actually put this windshield on yesterday, but I noticed Baxter's has put these amazing GV bags on the back. They're lockable. They're removable with a key. They're lockable with a combination. Oh, just noticed. Look at this. Ha <laughs> ha. I like it. And then check it out. Look at these uh, foot pegs they put on there. I love those. I have those on my uh, six, uh, 350 Classic and just uh, gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. All right, uh, we're going to take this on a, I'm going to try to do 100 miles today. So I'm going to really quick go over the specs with y'all. And uh, what it is is a 648cc, 9.5 to 1 compression, single overhead cam, four valves per cylinder, 270 degree cranks, so we get that wop wop sound, parallel twin with a air and oil cooled. It's got the six-speed transmission, makes about 47 horsepower. There's the forward controls. And about 38 foot-pounds of torque. That's 52 newton meters. So the front brake is a 320 millimeter disc. Look at that hot rod, isn't that massive? With a two-piston bribery, two-pot bribery. Anti-lock, of course. Got this really nifty alloy wheel. I, I wish I could show that better. So it's a 10-spoke system. It's got five thick spokes and five thin spokes. So you get the benefit of a 10 spoke system, but you get the airiness of a, of a lighter wheel. Isn't that pretty? The front tire is a 190-19. 43 millimeter upside down forks. Isn't that cool? I just love that. I love that. Got these little protectors over the forks. The amount of travel here, I think is uh, 4.7 inches, which is 119 millimeters. Isn't that just gorgeous? Uh, jumping over here to the rear, it's got a 150-80-16, just a gigantic tire on the back. Got the same mag. It's got a 300 millimeter disc. That's one of the largest discs I've ever seen on the back of a bike. It also has a two piston Bibery caliper. The uh, seat height on this is 29.1 inches, 739 millimeters. Wheelbase is 59 inches. That's about uh, 1500 millimeters. Uh, ground clearance, 5.3 inches. That's 135 millimeters. Fuel tank is 4.1 gallons. That's about uh, 15 and a half liters. And uh, you know what I forgot to mention? Four inches of uh, travel on the rear suspension. That's about 102 millimeters. I love the uh, look of this frame and it has this kind of a loop and then has this uh, ear on there. I did that. Okay, wet weight on this motorcycle, that's with all the fluids in stock form without the gear on there, would be 531 pounds. That's 241 kilograms. It comes in, the basic models come in black, blue, and the green. This is the black and it's actually kind of a charcoal black and I hope that shows. Um, other things to talk about would be the fit and finish on the motorcycle. Everything's made out of metal. You know, all of this stuff is metal. Even this guard on the radiator, check that out. That's metal. Just amazing, you know? Metal. Metal fenders. They could have saved 20, 30 pounds if they'd have gone the other way, but they didn't. On the side. Uh, something I noticed in pictures and on the internet was that this looks like it really sticks out. It doesn't. I love this line here. You got the chrome, the light colored head, the chrome pipe all the way back. You know, you've got this tank like this. You got this dark bulbous tank. I like this little plate that they put in here. Isn't that neat? Uh, something about the pipes really quick. I've been asked if they have these in pea shooters and we haven't been able to find them yet. We think we can make a set work, but we're waiting for uh, suppliers to come out with an op option like that. Baxter Cycle has AEW pipes, SNS, and some other brands in stock that will fit this already. We actually had a, had a bike that we put the AEWs on. I'll put the sound for that one right now. Nice. Pretty good sounding bike, isn't it? Uh, other things of note, real quick, it does have a center stand. How many cruisers do you know come with a center stand? Stock. Things we've added, they've added the bags, they've added the foot pegs. I think I talked about them already. I put this windshield on yesterday. This is a Royal Enfield windshield, Royal Enfield foot pegs. And Baxter's has all this stuff and more in stock. I think they said they had 7,000 pounds worth of accessories come in on one truckload. If you need it, they probably got it. BaxterCycle.com. Check it out. Oh, hey, I just noticed this. They got the uh, oil oil cover, you know, the, the knurled metal. Wow, that's a really nice touch. I like that. Very good, very good. Uh, should we go over the gauges real quick? It's got this Oculus that I call it. This is slightly bigger than the Oculus that is on the uh, regular 350 Meteor. 
if you hit the start, this has a oil light and a uh, battery light, which I think is something most bikes should have. Analog speedometer on the outside. On the inside, in this little dollar coin sign size thing, it's about an inch and a half across. There is a digital fuel gauge. There's a always viewable clock, always viewable gear indicator. And down here is the odometer. And uh, we're gonna use this button over here to change that from odometer to trip A to trip B. Now next to this is the day tripper thing. Nice and bright. It's kind of as a, it's kind of being a clock right now. You hook that with your phone and it gives you a turn by turn directions to wherever you're going. Uh, jumping up here, I've been going on and on about these uh, levers and I, I am because I like the way they feel. I love the way they feel. These are just like the ones on the Classic except they're bigger. They got the same shape, the same stylized thing. The neat thing about these is they are adjustable. You can adjust the distance from here to here. I love these Amol or Amal styled grips, depending on how you want to say that. Dale, did I get that right? You know, very nice classic feeling. Anyway, they work very well with the grips. I like that a lot. Information button is back here. Over here we've got the flash to pass, low beam, high beam, blinkers right there, horn right there, the kill switch, the run switch, and then the start switch. It's a rocker switch to start. And then over here is the hazard lights. And of course the brake lever. And the brake lever is also adjustable for a throw right there. I like it. Uh, these are the stock mirrors. I actually like the stock mirrors. I like the height. And I'm really excited about these, <laughs> these foot pegs. I'm really happy they put those on. This bike is uh, gonna be a lot of fun. Now, having said that, I'm gonna gear up and we are gonna go for a ride, my friends. Let's go take that hot rod for a spin. 100 mile ride, wahoo. We have made our way to Carson, Iowa, right next to the mighty West Nishnabotna River, which is a bit of a water, <laughs> you can probably walk across it today. Isn't much there. And, uh, what yeah, do I think so far? Uh, going down the road, it's very stable. I thought it was very good there. It, I got hit a little couple times harsh with bumps and uh, I got to thinking, I bet the uh, suspension's on the lowest setting and it is, it is absolutely on the lowest setting. So I have to adjust that. Once I do that, I think I'll be, yeah, there's on that side too. Once I do that, I think I'll be fine. I think that'll be a lot more comfortable. The front suspension was just fine. I had no troubles at all with that. Braking was good, very good, uh, both front and back. Well, let's talk about how it rides. I sit upright, but leaning forward, at least that's how I feel. The bars are very wide, check that out. And they are very wide, and I really felt that. I really felt like my arms were out there quite a ways. Uh, the seat is far back from the bars. Okay. I don't know that uh, that's gonna be a problem. Like I said, uh, just getting used to the bike. The seat itself, these are my brand new Tourmaster gloves that I just picked up today. The seat is uh, comfortable, uh, it's hard. Now, it's a brand new motorcycle, so that could be because it's a thin seat or because it's a hard seat that needs to be broken yet. So within 100 miles, I'll know if that seat is uh, another 100 miles. <laughs> a couple hundred miles. I'll know if that seat is uh, the seat we're going to stick with. Did you hear what I just said? The seat we're going to stick with. That's because I'm not giving this back. I'm going to keep this. <laughs> they are not getting this back. I'm <laughs> when I go back tonight, I am I want paperwork. I want to buy I'm gonna buy this bike. How's that? How's that, huh? So let's uh why this and not the interceptor? Let's talk about that. This is less powerful than an interceptor because it's heavier with the same engine. Uh it feels like it has a lot more torque, but it's also slightly more gear sensitive because it is a heavier motorcycle. Yeah, you know, you have to match the gear to the RPM a little better. I really appreciate the sixth gear of this. Uh well, wait, we're talking about comparison. Um Longer wheelbase, more stable on the highway, very stable, very, very stable on the highway. Going down the road, you, you felt really good, other than, like I said, the shocks and adjusted. Let's, okay, let's go ahead and talk Interceptor. Interceptor is much more nimble, shorter wheelbase, much significantly lighter, feels a lot more powerful. It, it's definitely the sportier, by far sportier motorcycle compared to this. This is the, definitely a cruiser motorcycle. This has got the right seating position. It's got the good feel. It has a great sound. With the, these are stock pipes, by the way. And if you want a stable, you're gonna have a passenger on the back, long ride. I intend to do a lot of multi hundred mile trips on this bike. And by that, I mean seven, six, seven, eight hundred mile days. And I think this is the bike for me to do that with. And that's one of the reasons I was, I'm convinced I'm gonna buy this for the time I get back. Other things to talk about real quick, the shifting. The shifting was pretty darn good. I can't say there's anything better or worse compared to the uh, Interceptor or the uh, Continental GT. Uh, let's talk about this uh, windshield real quick. I look clear over this when I'm riding. I'm getting no buffeting on the helmet and this keeps the wind off my chest. That has worked very well today. I'm glad I put that on yesterday. Uh, I wonder what kind of hand protection I can get. And if I can't find some good hand protection, I might consider heated grips if I'm gonna ride a lot of cold. Yeah. Anyhow, so that is uh, step 
one. First, first impressions of the long ride, 38 miles into it. Now I'm going to hop on that hot rod and try to put a bunch more miles on it and I'll talk to y'all here in a little bit. Wahoo! Beautiful afternoon for a ride. We didn't get the 100 miles, but we got about, I can't remember if it was 70 or 80 miles. Uh, just a couple quick things. We talked a lot already at the last stop about all the little details. Um, let's talk about uh, like driving, I drove through a, I don't know, a dozen little tiny towns here in Iowa and uh, it handled it so well. You know, some of those towns I was going through them in fifth gear at uh, 35 miles an hour and no lugging. It just, it just did it. So it's got plenty of torque. You know, we needed to pick up speed, you had to hit, you know, drop it down a gear, but it uh, works so well for that. It just works so well. Uh, as far as uh, two lane blacktops go, it was, it was beautiful on that. I mean, I just really enjoyed the way it rode, everything. That's not quite accurate though. Uh, the back suspension needs to be adjusted. It's on the lowest setting. And uh, that's for a very light person. I am not a very light person. <laughs> I'm 200 some pound fuzzy biker guy, so I'm gonna have uh, we're gonna adjust that tomorrow morning before we uh, tomorrow before we take this bike out. But other than that, it, it was just a beautiful. The front suspension worked well, the brakes worked well. I love the way it handled. It felt well. You know, like I said, it was sitting forward. I think my knees might have been slightly lower than my hips. My feet, of course, forward of my uh, knees. I'm a cruiser fanatic. I love cruisers, so this is really right up my alley. And has a really good sound. I, I thought it was something that was very impressive in town. And these are with stock pipes. You know, I was just blown away at how well, how well all the little things seemed to work. Uh, the windshield worked pretty well. You know, I'm still getting used to it. Uh, I had a little trouble shifting a little, a few times. Uh, part of that is I'm wearing these new boots that I got. I can't remember what they are. I think they're Tour Master boots. They're very, they go all the way up here and they're, they're kind of stiff yet. And, I shouldn't complain. It, it, it's working pretty darn good. We will learn a lot more tomorrow. A 200 mile ride tomorrow, 230 miles hopefully, and then the next day we'll do a bunch more. My goal is to get as many miles on this thing by Saturday or Sunday. Our weather is going to be decent until Sunday and I want to get as many miles on this thing as I can. Hey, I appreciate Baxter Biker, Baxter Cycle letting us borrow this. I'm not going to give it back. As a matter of fact, when I go in there, if the guy's in there, I'm going to try to make a deal to get this. I don't want to give up any of my other motorcycles, but I'd sure like to have this one. But uh, uh, if you guys are in the market for a new or used Royal Enfield, like this one, Triumph, classic British bike of any type, get yourself over here to Baxter Cycle, Marty, Iowa, the mighty mini of Marty, Iowa, or get to BaxterCycle.com. Those guys can help you out. Accessories, gear like this, all kinds of goodies. Otherwise, life is good. It's a beautiful day. Get out there and ride, my friends. Wahoo!